uh, a tornado emergency for the city of Coleman at 246. Well, we did know it was going to be a bad day. Coleman approaching the city. I have a TV in the conference room here, and I looked up at it and saw this uh, newscast, and they had sighted this tornado. I was showing a tornado move through central Coleman. We got debris that's flying around in the base of this violent tornado that's coming through downtown Coleman right now. I, I looked and I said, that looks real close to, to People's Bank. Continues to change. Uh, you probably cannot see the entire impact of all the wind here. The front of our lobby of our operations center uh, is pointing toward the direction of where the tornado came. And then suddenly, boom, deaths are gone. The area, the chair is spinning, dangling wires. Those are the things you see in the footage that show you just what the event is like. It happened within seconds. It happened from the moment that Jim was on the phone with us, and really his first comments were, I have a satellite that provides information if we lose power. And, and the weird thing is, is that satellite never texted me to tell me that we were having any power issues. Come to find out later, that satellite had been blown halfway across the county. Um, so instantaneously, his banks felt the effect of his operating center going down. We had all of our servers in this building that was uh, ended up being hit by the tornadoes that sat down on the southeastern side of, of town. The building was pretty much demolished. That building was critical. The core account data was held on a core mainframe system that resided in that building. So all their nightly processing was done out of there. All their backups, a lot of their data was was there. They had some backups here in, in our data center as a backup site, but it wasn't their live processing. They were no longer able to, A, send transaction data to the Fed, um, and they were unable to process bank transactions. So the whole gamut of what that runs through, those remote banking facilities were in effect down. The first step that came in my mind was I had to find a location. That's where TechLinks came to mind. TechLinks was our LAN provider. So clearly all of my connections going to my branch network was intact through TechLinks. We had then went into immediate mode the next morning to um, get those servers to tech links. I'm not sure of the total count of engineers that work, but certainly on the networking side, we had the full staff available to People's Bank over that entire weekend to assist them, not only with all the network changes that needed to take place to get voice and internet and private data connectivity up and running, but to also help them with just moving servers from a truck into the back. Um, to be able to run out and grab coffee for their staff as they work through the night. Uh, to be a constant source there to help them take the guts of their operation and transplant that into the TechLinks data center. Since he had his network with us, it was pretty easy to connect his racks to his existing network and everything that was still up uh, outside of the Coleman area, he could start processing with and have connectivity to. So we went from a complete unusable structure, unable to serve any customers, with no connectivity, to processing active account transactions within 24 hours. We were up and ready to go. Online banking was up and going. What Donnie and his group did at TechLinks was make it possible for us to keep the confidence level that our customers have. They're backed up by two generators, two UPSs. They have redundant power that's separate, both A and B channels. So from the technical side, they're, they're a lot better off. That client no longer has to worry because the worry is on us. We ensure that all facilities are up and running 24 seven for the core infrastructure that, that customer brings into the data center. So for the bank, one, it gave them a place to be able to locate their gear. Two, it was safe, secured, met all compliancy rules in the banking financial world, 
Um, and then most importantly, as the existing provider of network service for the bank, we were able to easily reroute all the remote facilities to the infrastructure that was then installed here at the data center. Business continuity planning is not something we were unfamiliar to, even before this event. It's a regulatory part of what we do. At People's Bank, the lesson we've learned is that technology cannot go down. We have to be cognizant that that electronic banking side of it, whether you call it technology into the branch, online mobile, ATMs, whatever it is, that's got to be up and running 24-7, regardless of the weather. Uh, lesson number one is we will never have servers on site. There will all be, always be an off-site facility, backup, capabilities like TechLinks has.